attempt on making a watermelon shaped loop tube. This is why I don't buy it. This is why I don't make them. But if you'd like to know how to make this, keep watching. We will need monk bean. This is the only kind of monk bean I can find in my local Asian market. Um, I know if there's any Thais watching right now, they're probably gonna tell me I am using the wrong one. Because technically this is actually green bean, because there's two type of bean, and the bean that I'm supposed to be using, it's called yellow bean in translation in Thai. But I think here, it's just called monk bean. I think. Coconut milk, sugar, food coloring, agar agar powder, the jelly powder like to make the shiny coat of the loop tube. It's very important, <laughs> almost forgot. If you know how to do craft, this is probably for you because you will have to mold the monk bean into those cute little shape, fruit shape that you see all the time or any shape you like. So remember how I was complaining that Michaels didn't have any food gel coloring? Well, Guess what just came? I got all my food coloring. Woohoo! That was totally off topic. Overnightly soaked monk bean. Now all we have to do is steam this. So 15, 20 minutes in. You'll know when it's ready, when you can sort of like, ouch, <laughs> squeeze it in between your fingers and it, and it just sort of breaks apart like that and turn off the heat, let it cool. I let it cool for a little bit. I'm going to put in one. I don't know how much I should make in case this is a fail. Now, mind you, I've never made this before. Um, I just know what they taste like. So two cups. Two cups, three cups of monk bean, and we got our coconut milk. One. Almost two cups of coconut milk. I'm going to take a wild guess because the recipe I looked at was for 200 grams of monk bean and one cup. So, and then as for sugar, it really depends how sweet you want it. So I'm only going to put maybe, maybe one cup or just almost a cup, not quite. Now we are just going to blend this to a very smooth consistency. Oh. <laughs> Plug it in first. We're going to cook it on a non-stick pan until it becomes a really thick, workable paste. Kind of almost like Play-Doh. On a low heat to medium heat, depending on how hot your stove is, we are going to cook this, dry the paste, Slowly but surely. You can already see it's evaporating. It 
it's literally only been like a couple minutes and this takes no time at all. It kind of looks like mashed potatoes. I think at this point we can turn the heat off and let it cool in the pan because it's still warm enough to cook it. You don't want to burn it. So I think this is the right consistency for it to actually mold it sticky enough. That was literally five minutes on the stove. I'm gonna turn off the heat. Yeah, I think this is good. I just turned off the heat and I'm just gonna let it cool down. I think this is it. Wow, it's easier than I thought. It's not hard to make, I think it's very, the hardest part is making the actual fruit shape loop tube. This is the easy part, right? So I'm just gonna let it cool so we can start molding and coloring and it smells so good, coconut milk. That's loop chup right there, you guys. Literally. <laughs> so excited. I have to say though, are you one of those people who likes to know what is in your food or what your favorite food or snack or dessert is made out of? So, or are you one of those who don't like them because you don't want to know how unhealthy it is for you? <laughs> When I was younger, I'd be like, no, I don't want to know. I just want to enjoy my favorite dessert or cake or food or, you know. But now I like to know because I'd like to be mindful of what I'm putting in my body. All right. I'm going to put our monk bean paste in here. Let it cool, cover it with a damp either towel or cheesecloth or whatever it is that won't dry this out. Saran wrap. Okay, let's try and make a chili. <laughs> I'm not very <laughs> crafty, so let's see. But a chili is pretty, pretty easy. See, you just kind of roll it, kind of bend it. That's a little big, but it's okay. I think once you color it, it should be fine. Ah! There you go. Okay, let's try and make a mango. This, do you know what a mango look like? It's kind of, right? That looks like a mango, kind of. All right. <laughs> that looks like a tooth. <laughs> I think this would be a challenge, is making the shape. I'm gonna make another mango. An orange would probably be the easiest because it's literally a ball. And then you color it orange. <laughs> and then you put the little fake leaf on the top, so. You know, so, put a little hole on the top like that. I think after this, you guys can pretty much play and go as you wish after here because it's up to you to make the shape. That's probably the hardest part. I'll make a smaller apple. There we go. See? So it's the shaping of the fruits, the coloring of the fruit, and then you coat it with the uh, with the gelatin or agar agar. That's why I say this dessert is very easy to make, but it's very tedious work. Very delicate, it takes a long time. Hard work. You know? So I think I'll just go finish making this and then I'll show you how to color it and everything else after.
because I won't make the gelatin powder coating yet because you need to have all of your shapes done because once it gets cold, the gelatin hardens, right? So here's what I have so far. <laughs> I will show you how I made this corn shaped loop chup. All you do is roll it in a ball like that. Like so make it longer on the bottom and a little fatter on the top, like a corn, right? As you practice, you will get better. And you grab a toothpick. So if you, this one doesn't really even look like corn, but it will do. I'll show you what I used on these ones. So I found this tool that I had from my baking box from like a long time ago. Well, that looks like corn. This is obviously not gonna be a very pretty look chup, but it's gonna be very tasty. Same sort of idea, roll it into a ball like so, and then sort of make it into like a little bell. I've watched videos and some people use or coat their hands or fingers with oil or butter, but, so it's kind of like a little mini bell. And then you take your toothpick, see? And you just go from the top. One, two, three, and four like so, and then you fix the shape a little bit till it looks like a wax apple. So one tablespoon of this agar powder right here with one and two cups of water. This is before turning the heat on too, by the way. So this is just regular room temperature water, agar powder before turning on the heat. I'm just gonna eyeball this, but this is one fourth cup of sugar in here. So I'm just gonna add just that much because I don't want it to be too sweet. Now you can turn the heat on. Cook this until it bubbles, the sugar melts, and it's ready to be coated. Okay, let's do the corn first. Grab a paper towel. So just dab the color a little bit, and then if you have a brush, that's green. <laughs> that's really green. Like so. Hey, that's not bad. There is your corn, you guys. Oh, look at that. Dip. Dab over here. cherry. It's the easiest one. Looks pretty good to me. At this point you kind of have to work quickly before the agar sets. See, it's already setting. Babe, come and look at my results from me attempting to make a Luke Chope. Okay? Let's see. Aaron hasn't seen this, 
So you know, I have never made this before. All I know is I know what it tastes like. Okay, tell me what shape this is. Pizza. Oh, come well, on. That looks good. Yeah, it's not yeah. bad. It looks like a watermelon. Okay, what's this? Cherry. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's a cherry. Okay, corn. I got corn. Yeah. And mango. Yes. Oh, okay. And you know, the reason I could tell that one was corn is because the lines and it looks yeah, like little yeah. corn kernels. Okay, this one. My aunt has a tree in the back. Oh, I don't know. See, that's a that's a that's a Thai fruit. I don't know. Yeah. Wax apple. Oh, yeah. I would not have guessed right? that one. Yeah. But it looks like wax apple. Yeah. Um, I attempted to make a. Uh, Oh, mangosteen. <laughs> that looks good. But the color. <laughs> well, I'm sure it's pretty hard to get that dark purple. Like, it's almost black. Well, mangosteen. one second. Let me change my camera setting because I'm clear and the picture of the oh. Luke ship is blurry. This is what it all looks like. You guys. I mean, for that my looks, first time. <laughs> yeah, um, that's pretty good. Wait, let me turn this the other way because this oh, way looks better. <laughs> there you go. At least it has the seeds and stuff. <laughs> Look at my coloring job, man. I definitely went out went out of the line. <laughs> but I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so this this. You have to hold this one like this, I guess. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Like, mango steam is not bad. It's just I didn't wanna open the color the purple mm. to like darker purple to just make one. Yeah. You guys, this took me so long, longer, longer than I anticipated. She's been here for um, long. so I need you to try this. Cool. Okay. So it's not very Are pretty. Are you sure you want me to try a less pretty one? No, it's fine. That one yeah, looks so good though. Just, just, just try it. I'm gonna eat the corn. Mmm. Wow. That tastes just like loop chip. Might not be pretty. Good job. Oh, but it's air so. High five. Wow. This is so good. I. Mm -hmm. I dare say those are even better than Thailand. You're just, it's a little sweeter. You're just sweet. I'm just so nice and sweet. Well, no. That looks like a good corn. Look at that. You can even see like the things. That was <laughs> because it has smaller kernels. But like, look at my painting job, man. Well. All right, you guys. I mean, if you can't buy or find Loop Choop, this recipe, honestly, tastes exactly like Loop Choop from straight from Thailand. My only recommendation is I added way too much coconut milk. Oh, that's the ticket right there. That's why it's so good. Coconut milk? Yeah. There you go. But they use coconut milk. Yeah. So when but, you do the recipe, add the same amount of coconut milk that she added. No, the reason why I say that is because it's it's very soft. It's very soft, yeah. It's but very... the taste is like... Like the one in Thailand is very dense. Yeah. Almost... Um, solid. Very solid. Yeah. Um, I think maybe add more bean and then same amount of uh, coconut milk. But honestly, you guys, you can really taste the coconut milk in here. And of course I added less sugar, so it's not like honey bee sweet, right? So I'm going to take a picture of this and send it to my sister and I'm going to tell her I made Luke true. Well, you guys, if you try this recipe, <laughs> please let me know what you think and i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you next time Mwah. bye, bye.